away, I'm in Smart USA. Um, over here we have the Smart for Two electric drive. This is the model year 2013, and it will be available in the spring of 2013. This car is going to be the most affordable electric vehicle on the market. The MSRP for the coupe is $25,000 and $28,000 for the cabriolet, which means that price is before any federal subsidies or tax credits or anything like that. So this is the most affordable electric car. Mm -hmm. um, this car is great because it has all of the features of a standard uh, Smart for Two gas model. Um, as you can see with the, the green that wraps around, that is called a Tridian safety cell. That has been engineered by Mercedes-Benz engineers, making the car incredibly safe. Um, so even though people don't think of small cars as being safe, the Smart actually is a very, very safe vehicle. Um, we have, as you can see in this car, um, this is the Cabriolet model. Um, but there are six airbags in this model and then eight airbags in the coupe style. Mm -hmm. So this one is all electric? This is all electric. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a hybrid. Mm -hmm. um, and it's great because um, this, this car, uh, you can plug in in any household socket. And you can also get a charging station installed in your home with a 240 volt, which means you can charge your car from 0 to 100% in under six hours. Mm -hmm. And what will be the radius of this car with a full, uh, fully charged battery? Sure. Um, what we look at oftentimes is the MPGE, that mm -hmm. is the miles per gallon gasoline equivalent. Mm -hmm. That is 122 miles. Excellent. Um, so, and that's not to be confused with the range, which is how much it is on a full charge, and mm -hmm. that has been tested to be 76 miles. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will say that most people who test driven a car typically get more than that when they're driving it. I can see that on this one you'll be able to attach your bicycle at the back of your car. Yeah, and what's great about Smart is you can add any accessory that you want. So oftentimes people will attach a surfboard or, you know, skis, things like that on the top, you know, or on the back so you can attach a bike. This we have here is the e-bike. It's an electric bicycle. Um, not available in the U.S. quite yet, um, but we're looking to do a pilot program starting in 2013.